Hey guys, I'm at work and I am inspecting the car a little bit deeper than my last video. Uh, this is the AC compressor and the paint is peeling off. It got so hot. I'm guessing the, the belt was just spinning around a locked up AC compressor heating up the metal and it just cooked the paint right off. There's grease everywhere. Um, see and there's oil spots everywhere and where is the there is a bunch of oil I don't know if you'll be able to see that there you go I got a flashlight so you can see it a lot better see how the paint is crinkling up yep getting really hot and let's see if I can get a good angle here you see the green over there? That is all AC dye and oil. So that is what happens when your AC compressor grenades from the inside out. And this side, under further inspection, I have, I have a torn boot and grease is just everywhere. All on the inside of the rim in here. I actually, I bought a new boot and going to repack it with grease because since it's not making any noise and that'll be that and it's one of those aftermarket ones that stretch over and I'm gonna see how well I'm gonna be able to stretch it over that big old hub joint thing right there that's gonna be a bear but I'll make it fit and make it work I know I explained in my last video that it's kind of a bear to get these things out let me see if I can get See that bolt right there? It'll run right into the the cross member right here. It'll run right into it. And the bolts are so long you can't just back them out and wiggle them out. So the, the motor actually has to move. So we're gonna have to take the whole front end of the car apart, the bumper, the radiator, condenser, move all that stuff out of the way. And yep. And that's just what we're going to have to do. And let's, let's take a little tour underneath the car. Uh, I don't know if I've explained this in other videos. I might have, I might not. I have a KYB AGX adjustable dampening with ground control coilovers. And I have poly bushings, some energy suspension in there too. Got those sway bar bushings right there. You know, same on this side too. The only thing I don't like about these is uh, I can't really go up much higher than this without fear of the uh, ground control sleeve breaking. I don't know what the tolerances are, but I'm not going to test it. So we go back here. This is a. I've got the stainless steel headers going to the stock cat because I don't like my check engine light on. We roll around to the rear. Pretty clean car underneath. I have Skunk 2 lower control arms. And then the same in the back the adjustable dampening KYB AGXs and the ground control kit and they all have the iBox springs so it's, it's good stuff and I have these camber adjusting arms over here because the, the camber was so bad it was wearing on the inside of the tire I had to get those. It was an expense that I really wasn't prepared to prepared to do, but I had to just to save to save money on tires because it was wearing them out within like 5,000 miles. The camber was so bad in the rear, but. Dodge with parallel. So 
so I can't hear, or you can't hear, we both can't hear, and it smells like unburnt fuel. And that's the douche with the Dodge making a bunch of noise. Fuck you. Alright, so that's it. That's the tour underneath my car and how shitty it is right now. Hopefully I can get more, more of these things fixed. So, but that's it. Oh yeah, I got another belt. And another thing, uh, I actually got new plastics for underneath the car to have new Hey, hey, watch it, buddy, watch it. The what? Just want to make sure it wasn't going to fall on you. I kind of hope it would, so I'd, I'd have some vacation time. <sighs> I'm shooting video for my YouTube channel. Huh? I'm shooting video for my YouTube channel. Did you see my, well, my compressor grenaded. Like, it got so hot, it melted the paint right off the pulley. And so I have to do that sometime. You got 255, don't you? 255, two windows, 55 miles an hour. Are you sure? You bet your ass I do. Well, there you go. That's all you need. That's all I had for the longest time. And I fucking my compressor on my truck and everything, and I just started fucking up. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that's what I'm going through now because now I need a new belt because I burnt the shit out of the belt and I got a new dryer for it. And I, now I need a new axle, or I'm going to try just to boot. So, but, whatever. It is what it is. Do you sell it? No, I'm not going to sell it. What are you doing here so late? Put that fucking starter lever in that fucking piece of shit, because the guy say, I'm coming to get it. Rick and Raven says, well, don't run. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured I'd make sure that the starter's not fucked up on it. Yeah, well, we're keeping it till Monday anyways, because that's when we're going to have the Well, I, I, the I realized that, but at the time, the guy was pissed and he was coming to get it. Yeah. The Raven was trying to tell him, well, it don't run because he's the infant crap for some reason. I don't know. That that whole situation seems strange, especially because the, that vehicle was in a crash, yeah. from what I heard. I think they just fucking limped it here or something like that and then try to blame their yeah, piece of shit vehicle here, on here, us. Here back in April and it had two codes in it, a P05, which is a ship range uh, switch, and yeah. C1513, which is a brake switch. Right. Well, while it was here that day, I recommended some stuff, a tune-up and a bunch of other stuff. Well, he said, okay, go ahead and put plugs in it and a serpentine belt. Well, I did the spark plugs first, then I did the range switch, then I started it up, and put the uh, brake switch in it because I can't do it without having back one thing to get the nut started. Yeah. So it's running, putting it back together, I shut the fucker off, go in to get the belt. Well, we don't have one, so the guy orders the belt from downtown. And in between that time, I had another car to work on, so I was working on it, and here comes the belt. I thought, well, this is belt on the right away. And get the fucker out of here, so I throw the belt on, and go over there and start it up, make sure the belt is riding in the pulleys right. Okay, I don't start, so I get inside and I hold my foot on the gas and crank it a couple more times. Then all of a sudden it's like ring, ring, ring. The fucking starter craps out. <laughs> That's fucking strange how the ECM and the starter lever fucking shits out this. Yeah. Same what's fucking the time. That, what's the luck of that happening in, in this fucking I don't shop? know. Maybe some of that lottery luck is. <laughs> going going away from you here at work or something. I mean, you've had a couple lucky ones. Now you you got to pay the price. Well, I'm not buying it. I think it's cost me a fucking dime. Yeah. Are you still getting paid to do it though? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm actually. It's not my fault. I did nothing wrong to it. I'm actually. It was hit right here in that fender. He saved right here. It might have, like I said, it might be that it's in a cold shop. And it had a hairline crack in the board and it might have contracted. If you park it back outside and it gets hot, it might make contact again, it might start. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I was like, well, let's push it. We're going to push it out in the morning. Well, you should have heated it up with a torch. 
Well, if it starts, I'll just leave the motherfucker like that. We're going to buy the fucking East Hill guy and come and get it. He's a living fucking thing. There you go. <laughs> you know, because it's nothing I did. No, it's not. No, Why would you even fucking I, touch the ECM? You, I didn't. You didn't do anything to it. I mean, the air conditioning box was right you? there, and I moved the air conditioning box out of the way, but I didn't make the connection to the East Hill or anything like that. Yeah. Now, when, when I went in there and cleaned the grounds, and I tried to figure out why it, it wouldn't make communication. I would at least... I so I had to hook the to get the cable out of the way, but... I would at least got a rubber mallet and gave it a few smacks. <laughs> Ain't like it started, buddy. <laughs> I can understand why the guy's pissed, but it's nothing he actually did. It's no. Fine. But, you know what? If I was him, I'd be pissed, too. Uh, you know? you pissed you to that dry shaft? Hell yeah, I was pissed. Did they, did they give it to you? No. No, they, they made well, him fucking pay for it. They No, they, not, they never touched it again. I rolled a bag of rare and we put it in, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. They didn't I did forget. Nothing, but they stopped my car from being able to be driven. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing is... Greg was talking to his wife, and she's like, well, if, if you can get somebody to give me a ride back home, I'll bring your loaner out. He goes, well, why would you do that? Well, I don't feel comfortable driving. Well, he says, you know, when we're working on people's vehicles, we usually give the car to drive to them, not stranded at home or whatever, and they got something to drive. She says, well, I don't feel comfortable driving your car. And he goes, well, why not? And she goes, because we're in the midst of going through bankruptcy right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that would be the customer that would happen. Yeah. Whatever. So don't let the fuck car go until you get money. Make sure it's cash. Don't take the fucking <laughs> check or anything. Don't get paid. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you told me about that. Only at this fucking place, I tell you. All right, Tom. Well, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Fred's junk pile. Well, he ain't got half a foot junk there. I used to be, I used to have a bunch of shit everywhere in the shop. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're my tools. When they come over and say, hey, clean up your bench, I go to come and see. Ain't nothing here. How much, how, how much thicker can I get? <laughs> yeah. You want me to empty my box out? I want to put my box out, I'll give you a fucking pink slip. You can go home. Huh? I'll shake your hand, give you a pink slip, tell you go home. No, they, all, all they got to do is tell me I'm fired. I'll shake your hand, tell them thanks. Really don't give a fuck. Doing me a fucking favor. <laughs> they tried that in Arkansas. I was working for a dealership up there. Getting swollen out, and I was the last guy kind of hired on. And instead of just telling me, hey, we don't have any work for you, that we're going to let you go. They were trying to tell me I was fucking a bunch of shit up and everything. I'm back in place there. If you worked on it and you fucked it up, you had to work on it for free. Yeah. I said, oh, really? What, what all about fucked up? He said, well, I don't, I can't tell you everything. He said, uh, <laughs> You I know, it's bullshit when they tell you, <laughs> well, I can't tell you everything. Yeah, he, he, he goes, like, there's been a bunch of stuff that's what they have worked on. Yeah. He said, because usually if you come back, work on your own comebacks and you work on it for free. So I said, come here once and we walk out of the shop and I walk all the way down this end and all the way back up this end and I was like, hey, have you worked on any of my comebacks? <laughs> no. Hey, have you worked on any of my comebacks? No. I said, okay, if I had if I had a bunch of comebacks, I said, if these guys worked on them, who fixed them? <laughs> oh, yeah. And the guy says, well, he says, oh, all I'm going to tell you is you're, you're uh, terminated or whatever, and he signed this piece of paper. I looked at him and I said, you think I'm fucking dumb or what? I ain't signed a fucking thing to you. I said, I'll see you in court. We ain't gonna get any unemployment. I said, we'll see about that. And uh, I went down, signed up for unemployment. Two weeks later, I was paying off $700 a fucking week. I can't beat that. Toyota? Fuck that. Toyota radio? Yes. Stock Toyota radio? For why? I don't know. It's about to give given the thread. For scrap. I'll give it the thread. Alright, put it in the scrap pile. Actually, Fred will probably want to keep it for some weird reason. Does it not work? No, it works. Oh, then why you get rid of it? It's like I when you trade the car in or something. I got a brand new head unit. So do I, but I kept my old radio. Why did you put that radio in this thing? I think that's too big. That's that's bigger it's, than it can velcro to the to the dash. 
as big as the headlight. <laughs> it's huge. He could go for a to the dash. I mean, he could do that. Oh, well, wait, his shift knob's there. <laughs> My shift knob's <laughs> on the dashboard. <laughs> So anyway, I was, I was making more on unemployment than I was working for that fucking dealership. So. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be so lucky. Well, I, I uh, we had just bought a new, new house up there, and I, I was off work for like six months doing landscaping. She got sobbed and side work. Did a couple side jobs for people to come yeah. up there. And, but yeah, they were. They, they, they thought I was, they must have thought I was one dumb son of a bitch, but I, I've been through that route before. You don't sign a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Tom. I'm only growing, growing unemployment twice in my life. Once, I'm trying to share away do a ship that I quit and moved out to Arkansas because my wife is kind of done there. Well, my ex-wife now. But got a job out there working for Walmart, the main office out there. Yeah. So they had to pay the unemployment. Yeah. Before, well, before this, I, I quit before they could fire me. So, because I really didn't want it on my resume that somebody that I got fired. I didn't care. So I just fucking quit before they could do that. So I could never collect unemployment. But that was my dumbass fault. So. Yeah, hey, you're always better off letting fire. You just don't sign anything. Yeah. Because usually when they tell you to sign something, why anything on me anyway? Not just. That's just saying that that you agree. Just with to what cover they their say. ass. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't ever agree with what they say. Story time with Tom. <laughs>